And Simon, many people will be thinking, why has Prince Harry revealed this? It is distasteful at best. At worst, it is very dangerous for him and his family. How much do you think that has upped in recent days? And do you think there is some, a school of thought that this is intentional in order to increase his risk and therefore increase his security? Do you think that, that could be the case here or do you think that it's just plain stupid? Well, certainly dealing with your kind of question with regards to in increasing his risk and, and possibly looking at his security, that's an ongoing case mm. at the moment, so it was possibly unfair to kind of discuss that. But it certainly has changed the profile of that risk. Um, the Taliban have already responded and, and called him kind of a war criminal. So therefore now you've got to put in that the security service and the intelligence analysis will be looking at that to see whether those statements actually have any influence attached to them. Will they influence people kind of to do something against British assets? Because that's how it's, it's looked at. You're looking at a, a threat and risk against British assets that's currently substantial, meaning that an, a th an attack is likely. We go up to severe, meaning it is highly likely. So have we moved now between those two barriers? And it's not just against the Sussexes themselves because of these statements. Mm -hmm. It's against the royal family, His Majesty's government, mm -hmm. His Majesty's armed forces, His Majesty's police service. The connotations are, are quite vast because of what it represents for the United Kingdom. In, in your knowledge of, of doing the job, yes. um, did, did you find yourself in the situation a lot where you had to say, I'm sorry, sir, or Your Majesty, or whatever, we've got to do this, we can't go there? Or, or did you try very much to stay in the background. Do you see what I mean? I mean, presumably they, they would always follow your advice, I'm sure, but um, you must have been a bit reluctant to be too overbearing about it. Well, you, you are the professional. You are there for a reason. And ultimately, when you strip all this back, you're there to preserve life and they have to trust you to do that. You have to build up that rapport. You're always trying to allow principals to have the, the lives that they want and go with their wishes and considerations. But as the security professional, at some point it has to stop with someone, you know, and that's you ultimately, you know, that's where that line in the sand is. So if you feel it, it, it's not safe to go there or we shouldn't be here anymore, then they have to trust you that you're going to make that decision to keep them safe. Yes. 